So right now I'm gonna go over why you get a bulldog, their, the benefits getting a bulldog, their pros, their cons. It's very important to understand both, to understand the pros of, of your getting this specific breed and the cons of getting this specific breed. And if the pros outweigh the cons and they, and they, are, and they, you know, they come together and that's what you want, then that's what you should get. You know, it's the same thing like getting a, a car. Every car has the pros, every car has the cons. What do you wanna get out of that car? And if, if the pros outweigh the cons, that's what you get. And that being said, with Bulldogs, there's a lot of pros. There are some cons, just like with every, everything. And I wanna clarify all those, all those things with you so there's no misconceptions and that you're not misguided on what you think you're getting when you get a Bulldog. Whether you get from me, whether you get from someone else, I just want everyone to understand their game. So that way, if you do get a Bulldog, they get a good home because they are the right fit for you. That's the most important thing, is you getting a dog that is the right fit for you. So how to get a dog that's the right fit for you, specifically a Bulldog. My, uh, why you get a bulldog. So I'd like to explain on why you would get a bulldog. And this is my opinion, there's other opinions as well, but I have a lot of facts in here too. So you get a bulldog because you want a pet, you want something that's gonna love you, you want a loyal dog. Because, like, dogs have general characteristics that are in their breed and um, it makes them valuable for certain reasons. Bulldogs are valuable in my opinion because they are naturally in their, in their DNA and genetically speaking, statistically speaking, they are a very nice, loyal dog. They don't run away. Like for example, Huskies. Huskies run away. You let a Husky out, majority of them run away. Like they, they're horrible dogs in my opinion because they run away. I don't want a dog like that. You let a Bulldog outside, I let Esquire outside. He stays where he knows. He stays right here. He, they never run away. They don't wander. I shouldn't say never because I'm just going off statistics, but that's the type of dog they are. They're a loyal, loving dog. Now, what they aren't, what Bulldogs aren't, is they are not protection dogs. They are not going to seriously protect you. Now, that doesn't mean they're not going to alert you. They can alert you to someone in your yard, someone coming in your house, someone outside your house. Uh, dogs, um, one, hear very well. They smell very well, even Bulldogs. And they also can smell things that we can't smell, like they can smell adrenaline. So if, let's say, let's say Milkman's older and he understands stuff, he's in the house and he smells a robber outside, he smells that adrenaline, he might start growling. So he can alert me. So any dog can do that too. They can alert you, especially Bulldogs because they, they do have a protective side to them. But that being said, a Bulldog is not going to run off a intruder majority of the time, you know? That's why I have these dogs. So I have a Newfoundland right here. This is Newfoundland, this is, this is Baba. We, he's imported, he's super high quality. He's looking amazing. He's three months old. He's going to be huge, probably 150, 180 pounds. They are naturally very protective dogs. They are very good with kids and they have like a bodyguard instinct with kids. So I got him to watch over my daughter. He's his legit job. He's bought and he's going to be trained to watch over my daughter. I got Wick, Wick's it. I got Wick, Wick stay. Wick is about seven months old now. He's going to be nice and big. He's going to watch over the property. He's going to watch over me. He's going to watch over my daughter. He's going to watch everything. He's going to be looking. I have one more German Shepherd coming. Great dog. There's all, all kinds of attributes, attributes about German Shepherds. They love to listen. They love to please. And they are a, um, a very good watchdog. They're very agile. He can patrol the properties and do everything. So that's why I got Wick. There's purposes for it. Not only that, I love him. I love Baba too as well. They're both very nice dogs. Different personalities than the than the the um, <laughs> the uh, the bulldog, but that's reasons why you know. And like whenever you get a dog, uh, you get a dog. You should know like you know what you want out of the dog, and um, and then get a dog based on that. You know, like if you want a dog that's gonna go jogging for, jogging with you, bulldog can have the dog. You know, and just you know add you know, excitement and fun to your life and, and just be something that's gonna like you, then you get a bulldog, you know? Same thing I can say with, with Wick too, but you have to know what you're getting when you get it. It's like getting a car, you know? Then you'll be upset later, you know? You know, you know bulldogs are going to be um, that kind of style. On top of that, you also have to know too about bulldogs, what you're getting too, or what you could be getting. You could be getting a, a very problematic dog that um, with health problems if you get from a bad, a bad line, bad breeder. Uh, so that's why I always talk about my three P's to pick in a perfect puppy is the program and, and the, um, the uh, pedigree slash parents. Those two are the top two and then the third is the puppy. Pedigree, the parents are healthy dogs too. So Milkman's gonna be healthy, his parents are healthy. 
I've, he's like 10 times the best bulls lines. I know his lines very well. So that being said, I know what I'm getting there. I know the attitude I'm getting and I get everything. So I, I, I'm very happy with that. But when you're getting a bulldog, you have to understand that, um, that you're also getting a dog that could be problematic if you don't do your due diligence. On top of that, you're also getting a more of a stubborn dog. So it requires you to, to, to give them attention, train them, spend time with them, and, um, and do the right things. And in my opinion, every dog's stubborn, which means like not listening if you don't spend time with it. Like Wick, I know uh, one of his brothers is a semi-aggressive dog because they just not, not checked him right. With me, he'll never be aggressive. He's, he, you know, because I spend a lot of time with him. Wick, come here. He'll, I mean, like, he'll never be out of line aggressive, you know? Um, but he's a, more of a pleaser. Baba, come. We haven't made episode two for Bulldog Genetics going into more depth of the genetics, like all kinds of other things. If you wanna see it, make sure you leave comments down below and give me questions. So that's what I'll cover next episode for the Bulldog Genetics. Once again, I really appreciate your support. Let me know what you thought about the episode, questions, concerns, comments, whatever, down below. Give me the like, click subscribe if you haven't subscribed and follow all our other platforms. We have Instagram, The Best Bulls Ranch. We have TikTok, The Best Bulls. Thank you so much and thanks again for watching.